Hello Virgo, it's your turn for your reading for the month of, uh, here, let me turn the fan off real quick. Alright, I had to lower the fan because I think the fan got a little too on. Um, anyways, um, this is your reading for the month of September. I know we're, we're kind of behind in getting these out and these messages. But these are guys, uh, these, these are guys, these are messages for you. Concerning love and relationship. I haven't done this version in a long time, so we're gonna see how it goes All right, as I know or as you know the month of September is scheming through is fast So first card we have coming in We have the stoked page bow stoked. So I feel like you're waiting on an answer Maybe from a friend you're waiting to see how things pan out. I do feel like there could be a breakup makeup situation where um, a lot of internal issues are going on, anxiety, fears coming up for you. I do feel like there's a need to ground yourself, to get back an alignment of balance and prosperity because I do feel like there's been a lot of attacks towards you by people or situations. And it's really put you in hot waters. Usually I look at this card as like celebration card, but I feel like it's putting you in a bad predicament. I do feel like maybe in some way, Virgo, you feel used, not necessarily violated by someone, but feel like in some right, um, something's questioning your mind, putting a lot of doubts. Like you've invested a lot of time, I feel like, in relationships. Or if you're newly into something or someone, you know, you've, you've invested some time. But I feel like there's a need. You don't really know what you want right now, but I feel like, you know, you need to get back in alignment. And maybe you said things to someone that really hurt their feelings and it caused a lot of arguments. But I feel like they're getting over it or you're getting over it. Um, but surely, um, I feel like there's a need to escape. There's a need to really get grounded with yourself in seeing what you want because I feel like there's an ending of some kind but I feel like there's a lot of old energy surrounding you maybe someone in, that's passed away that is there to guide you and assist you on this journey I do feel like for the most part some of you want to walk alone you want to figure out your own story the missing puzzle to your high for say but I feel like a lot of you are coming across as aggressive maybe with your words like I said I do feel like there's a lot to say in this matter when it comes to I don't know why I'm getting your body something about your body um, I do feel like a lot of you there's been a lot of sneaky energy there's been a lot of secretive maybe lies or deceptions that you're telling yourself that aren't true um, I do feel like I need, you know, this this month, you need to really meditate. Because I feel like you're being protective of someone or something or a situation that needs to end. Or you need to put an end to it. But I do like for feel like for some of you who've been in long-term commitments, you've, you've given a lot to the situation. I feel like you've been unfulfilled, undesirable to yourself. Like you don't feel desirable for someone to love you or that's how these people have made you feel undesirable and maybe you're going through a little bit of detachment issues and just focusing on you I feel like Virgos don't have a problem with that I do feel like if you're in a relationship you know or at a time and place where we need to focus on us they need to focus on what truly makes happy and for some of you I do feel the sense of depression that you've been dealing with lonely, silently, and it's becoming deadly or detrimental to your health. So I do feel like if it is a relationship, you need to get out of it. I do feel like for some of you, you are happy in your relationship, even though it's been, you know, years you've invested. But I do feel like some of you want to be single. I do feel like there's, you know, some of you are taking on the role of, you know, 
trying to finish out school, trying to finish out maybe a degree or something to far further your education. But for the most part, I do feel like some of you are wanting to be single and free and explore your options, but also to not get in anything hasty. So I do feel like things ending in that matter, but I also feel like if there is a need to work out things, I do see it working out. But for some of you who are young, I, I don't really see that. I feel like you want to be single. You want to, you know, finish school. You want to do arts. Um, you want to get into your dreams and passion. I don't feel like you're really ready to settle down necessary on a commitment but I do feel like there is maybe a possibility of getting in a relationship that you really like the person that you're associated with there's a new person that you find interest or maybe you're astonished that they would want something with you but yeah they do have a lot of feelings for you all right so in regards to Virgo and this could be anyone um, not particular single relationship. So this is the past energy we have for you, Virgo. And I'm going to read them as I see them. And they're in reverse. So your wish fulfillment did not happen in this relationship or whatever relationship. There was mistrust. There was disloyalty. There was a lot of things that were maybe unsaid. A lot of scarcity a lot of hidden agenda a lot of things that that came out in the open maybe recently in this past situation or past person it could be an Aquarius for some of you you could be dealing with Aquarius I do feel like another earth sign possibly or another Virgo um, but I feel like there was a lot of resentment there was a lot of disloyalty or you were the one who was disloyal in this relationship or distrust but I feel like things came to light as soon as they were heard. Presently, you have a lot of emotions. I do feel like this is a sense of someone that makes you happy. Someone that brings a lot out of you, for se. But I feel like there's been heartbreak recently. And maybe your guides, because I do see like fairies a little bit. Uh, maybe your guides have been telling you to end something with someone to forgive them. And move on in a situation. I do feel like. You know. It's not going to be easy. But I feel like you want to be happy. Because you haven't been happy for so long. And I feel like with the high priestess. It's going to balance out the situation. So. I do feel like for a long lasting. You, you've been invested in something Virgo for a while. Whether you're single or in a relationship. That needs to be forgiven that needs to be addressed, needs to be recognized, because I feel like ultimately, whether you're with this person or not, I feel like you want to be happy. You want to create the life promising to yourself that you feel just, justly do. And I feel like it it brought a lot of love and a brought of abrupt endings in a situation. I feel like that's why the heartbreak's here to let you know that there's a lot of heartbreak here. There's a lot of pain that you're dealing with at the moment because of this connection. It could be a water sign possibly or someone has that chart or Leo or Pisces. But I feel like you have, you're not going to let this drag you down. If it is involving a third party situation, I do feel like you see yourself as pretty much a majestic uh, person who takes care of themselves. So I feel like for the most part, to get over this heartbreak, I do feel like you need to center yourself. You need to get back into union with yourself. And I feel like for the most part, whether you're single or in a relationship, you know, you've had people maybe from the past criticize you for your work and your effort that you put into something. I do feel like for some of you, careers coming up right now for you, you know, you've invested a lot of time and energy maybe in a work situation and maybe it's best to leave. Maybe it's getting you in a heated d debate with someone or argument. I feel like, but I feel like it's time to focus on you, which you <laughs> that's not funny to say because... I feel like this has distracted you. Maybe a cancer sign has just brought a lot of heartbreak. But I do feel like there's resolution within yourself. So despite this heartbreak that you're dealing, I do feel like honestly, it could be betrayal for some of you. Someone stabbed you in the back. 
three times, three situations, three problems. But I feel like you get success when you start pulling in the energy of love for yourself instead of focusing on this distraction that's caused you a lot of pain. Um, maybe you didn't expect this heartbreak to come in the way it did, but it did. Um... I do feel like for some of you Virgos, there could have been a third party situation you were invested in. Um, maybe you wanted to give this person a chance in some way because you have see them deemed to give them a chance. But I feel like for some of you Virgos, you can't give them the time and day because I feel like a lot of you, you know, don't really see how things are going to work out in your favor with that. You don't see how things are going to work out in a situation, even though you may want to be with this person. But like I said, some of you are young. You still got your life ahead of you. And I feel like, you know, if you're not sure what you want, the best thing to do in that situation, just focus on what you do want. And, you know, maybe in some way, if you're in a situation where you've been in a situation for some time with another person and it just hasn't worked out maybe you're meant to be just friends maybe that's the connection you're not meant to be in a relationship I'm gonna put down my leg is bothering me um, maybe you're not meant to be in a relationship with someone right now cause I feel like so many people, they jump into these relationships. Sorry. It's like a pimple. But yeah, you're distracted by something that's causing a lot of pain and a lot of anxiety for you. It's, uh, for some of you, it could be uh, your work situation. For some of you, it could just be a third party situation that you didn't see coming, per se, but do feel like there's been a lot of disagreement there's been a lot of pain in a situation that you just want resolved but I feel like for the most part you want to be single you want to be seen you want to be heard but if the person's not willing to work on things that they see that they need to work on because I feel like you've been in lack in your relationship for some of you you haven't really been intimate as long as you thought you would be with your partner or just in general, you really haven't been intimate with anyone, really. Um, so that's been a lot of wedge between the relationship, I feel like. But I feel like things are coming around where you're starting to connect better with people and situations. So that's enough said about that. All right, let's go into single Virgos. Let's see what we got. It looks like a lot of reverse cards. Nothing too drastic. So... Uh, well, uh, the chariot card, the death card, the world card, and judgment card. So, some of you could be dealing with either Cancer or Scorpio. I feel that strongly. Um, something's not going in the direction that you want it to do when it comes to your desires, your goals, your ambitions. Because Scorpio kind of rolls that, what they want. They, But it's you're not going towards what you want. Um, maybe there's a part of you that wants to be in a long-standing relationship with someone, but you're not seeing the future with them, and you're questioning a lot of things because things aren't going the way that you want them to, or for say, you know, you're not wasting your time on it. So I do feel like things abruptly changing for you. I also do feel like things ending um, or abruptly coming to an end. So it's either that, either coming to an end or abruptly changing for the good or bad. Um, it depends on what you feel like is going on in the situation. But I do feel like for the most part, no direction is going on. You have no idea where you're going in life right now. Maybe you have an idea, but I feel like in order for things to begin, they need to end. And I feel like maybe you're done. You're done searching for love. You're done trying to play into this love romance that maybe's not there with this person. 
that you're wanting to connect. So I feel like you're not moving towards it, even though maybe you want to. So there's a need to reflect. There's a need to look at things from a different perspective. It's funny, Gemini had that too. Maybe you know a Gemini. All right, so those in a relationship, we have the Tower card, the Emperor, the Star, and the Hermit. For those of you in a relationship, a sudden event happened recently that's really unpowering. And it was something that you didn't want to see or didn't want to happen. I feel like it brought you a lot of pain, a lot of things in your life that you didn't want to see or have to go through. But with the Hermit in Reverse, I do feel like you're soul searching. You're looking at this tower moment as something that was disempowering. And maybe it's something that you looked at in the past that was unfulfilling. So, for whatever it is, you're looking a lot in the past of what things didn't work in, and maybe that's affecting your present relationship. Um, but it's a need to go within. It's a need to clear out the crud in your life and to look at what works and what doesn't work and not so much focus on what's the tower moment brought because maybe it's getting you off kilter, looking too much of what ended instead of focusing on what's going forward now. So, get out of your head, Virgo. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that resonates with one of you out there. I hope you have a great birthday and a great season. We're almost into uh, Libra season, which is pretty much my season, but I'm only my moon. But I feel like it's, it's going to be a good one. Interesting, but good. Anyways, bye-bye.